I know I'm messing with the momentum of the show, but fuck it, I don't care. Because Roll fuck it. Because this is funny. It's funny. Life's, life's worth li laughing about, right? Yeah. I did a video with Ice Cube on my first record. It's already funny, right? It's already funny. Look out! You're welcome. <laughs> and so Ice Cube calls me on the phone and says, Hey man, I wish I could do a good Ice Cube voice because it would be way funnier. He says, Hey man, doesn't sound, it's not even in the Ice Cube realm. But I'm just going to do Ian as Ice Cube. And he says, Man, I want to do this video with you because I really like your song Harlem. I'm like, Wow, that's badass. And I'm like, I'm really feeling this great emotional moment. Like, here I am, this kind of psychedelic cat from Austin having this moment with this hip-hop dude from L.A., and th that's why I do art, because you want to meet people and kind of and trip out on each other and go, wow, we're all the same or different or whatever. So we have this great conversation, and I'm really, really stoked about this idea, and so I call my manager, and she calls the label, and everyone's really excited, and they're like, it's going to be huge. <laughs> that's funny, because they always do that. They don't give a shit about how cool it is. The music industry doesn't care about whether it's the greatest song that's gonna make people happy. It's like, money, money. Yeah. So they get real excited about the idea, man, Ice Cube and you, and you're like this blues rock dude from Texas, and he's this hip hop guy, and it's gonna be huge. And I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna be huge, but it's gonna be fucking cool, and I'm psyched. So we start doing the treatment for the video for my song, Harlem, which of course, since we are in New York City, you guys do recognize it's up the street. Well, whichever way is north, but it's somewhere that way, okay. 80 blocks up. Yep. And I'm like really excited about doing the video, except for Ice Cube says, uh, well, I can't go to New York, because you know about that kind of East Coast, West Coast thing. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. I'm hip to that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's tough out there, man. You gotta, you gotta stay in your neighborhood. And so he decides that we're going to do this song called Harlem in South Central Los Angeles, where there are no buildings above two stories. You know. You know. Mm hmm. So, anyhow, the video is ridiculous. I love it because I don't know. I don't know how you guys look at life, but to me, it's like if in the end, I mean, it's great to get some power and fame and have a good time along the way or whatever you can grab, but really, what does it mean in the grand scheme of things when you look back? You wanna be holding a lot of shit or you wanna be laughing? It'd be great if you're holding shit and laughing, but I wanna be laughing about it. I wanna be able to be looking back on the past and going, remember that time I did that ridiculous video with Ice Cube and we did it in South Central LA? I don't give a shit, really. I mean, what? Are you, did you just raise your hand? Chris Heinrich can be fine. Okay, go, go. No, we did not. Chris Heinrich asked me if we recorded a track. We unfortunately did not record a track. I wish we had. But what we did is we made a video where all of the dudes in my band, which all had long, we were, all had really long hair, super hippied out, were wearing flat jackets. Yeah. And we looked like people in an NWA video, but we were white hippies in an NWA video. <laughs> and it totally didn't work at all. And that's what's so fucking awesome about it. So anyhow. <laughs> Everybody's yelling, there must be a 
change from green to red. I see a confrontation, tired to the head.